this year we were fortunate enough to have an in-person carnival and my team and I were really grateful that the school let us do that. I can't even describe like how exciting and surreal it really is because we've been planning this for so long and we actually thought that we might have never even made it to this day. Working with all my classmates, my, my junior classmates and kind of just understanding like the ropes of carnival, it's been a huge tradition here at Punahou so I feel like it's been a huge like legacy that I had to kind of learn and grow from. that they get to have something to come to and be excited about and we have so many like kitty games and we have knocker balls and we have so many things that they can be a part of that we've been so separated for the past two years because even when we're at school we can't come into contact with them so it's really 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 important for them to have a l at least a little bit of fun and like have a little hope for our future in the pandemic. Like just the food and just the atmosphere of everyone coming together and collaborating is amazing. Definitely just all the food. The Terry Burgers, I mean that's like the first thing I get at Carnival. I walk down, buy my script and Terry Burgers are the first thing I get. Um, Malasada is definitely, that's like a staple for the Carnival and also like I like the Euros and the, um, the Portuguese bean soup is really good too. collaboration is like one of the most beautiful things to me. So it was really important to make those connections that we haven't been able to in like two years because to me Carnival is all about building relationships and of course raising money for financial aid for our school. We're really hopeful for next year. Um, maybe we can invite the entire community, the entire island or even people flying in for Carnival 2023.